When we look at topographic maps, using a topographic profile can help show the side view of an area's landscapes. This model uses upward and downward changes of a line to show the changes in elevation and the slope. Let's look at an example. So here's a topographic map shown on the upper part of this figure. The lower part is a profile. Just as we've been talking about in class, this contour map shows the elevation of the area with contour lines. Where those contour lines meet or touch line A to B, we can use that data to create this, which is a side view of that feature. Let's practice. So using our Callister quadrangle map that we've been using, we're going to look at this line, A to B, and figure out what the profile is. So here are the steps that you need to follow. The first step would be to get a scrap piece of paper. Next, you want to mark off all the spots where the contour lines cross line A to B. And I use little hoxer lines or little dash lines that demonstrate those crossing points. My next step is to pull my paper away and fill in with the appropriate contour lines. So for instance, my first line here has a value of 300. My next line here has a value of 280. The following line has a value of 260. My contour interval obviously is 20 uh, feet. And I can continue in this fashion until I have all of the lines that I drew accounted for. So with this data, notice it's showing the appropriate spacing between contour lines. I have a bunch of dots closer to get, uh, lines closer together on the left and further apart on the right. I'm going to take this now and apply it to um, a set of vertical uh, axes. And all I'm going to do is position my scrap paper between points A and B. I'm going to plot my points according to the elevation that was on the map. So where those dots are drawn, that's equivalent to the elevation that I took from the actual contour map. And once I've in, uh, filled in all my dots, I'm going to connect them with a smooth line that would look like this. Notice how my line runs from A to B continuously. It's a smooth line. There are no breaks. There are no jagged edges. And most importantly, my line dips below 200, which means that in this real profile, in this uh, feature on the Callister quadrangle, the space between 200 here and 200 here falls below an elevation of 200, but never lower than 180 because there were no contour lines on that map. So I represent that with a deep depression or deep valley only to rise back up on the other side and in the end I'm left with a perfect profile all right so that's how you draw a profile and we will definitely practice more in class thanks for watching